What have we brought along then? Let's have a look at this. It's a farmer's helmet, my granddad's. Looks like it's been through the wars or through a few fires. He was born in uh, 1892, so it's best part of 100 years old, I'm guessing. And whereabouts was this? What town? Um, he was a farmer in Sandwich in Kent. Yeah. We've got a photograph of him uh, that was uh, it's dated as 1935. And we believe this is him, yeah. Tommy Farrier. It's always lovely to work on, on, on something like this. Uh, it, it, it's back in the glory days of the British Fire Service. Um, if an item like this could, could tell a story, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear it. Slight tweak at the end using the pliers. The nice dinging sound means that we're making perfect contact with the with the metal. Keep polishing the main body, start moving it in so that it's dropping into all the recesses. Doing it this way, it brings out all the detail and it, and it, it makes the best of, of brass work. Now all that's left to do is carefully reassemble this beautiful piece of firefighting history. Unfortunately, by the time its owner, Roy, arrived to collect it, Stuart's been called out, leaving Jay to do the honours. So what he's done for you. Oh, look at that. I think you're going to have to do the honours to get it out, actually, because I can't touch it. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? He's obviously dressed the back, because this was badly creased. Yeah. And he's repaired, all, he's fixed all the straps as well. Yeah. That's brilliant. Let's them up. Let's have a look on the inside. Yeah, and he's managed to get the tape as well. <laughs> it's great. Yeah? Yeah, that's absolutely... I'm very happy. It's super. Stand your proud. First Stand your proud, then. Now I'll go back home safely now. That's great. Good to see you. Likewise, sir. Thank you very much All indeed. Right. You Thank grab you. that, I'll get a door for you. Thank you. All right? I'm overjoyed, really. It's, it's, it's super. Uh, I mean, it couldn't... Couldn't really have been better. This is the piece that was closest to my granddad. He would have said, I'll oh, give me the helmet, I'll repair it. But I think that even he would say, thank goodness it's gone to someone that knows what they were doing. My granddad would be very, very pleased with the result.